this video is going to be a little different. It does kind of directly relate to your Detroit Lions in a few ways, but I was thinking outside of the box during my live sh stream show, uh, Detroit Lions Weekly, airing at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on Lions Syndicate. So subscribe to the channel, hit the noti so you guys can interact with your boy live, man. Do people still say it's your boy? Anyway, so I got to thinking. We have to play the Chicago Bears this Sunday in a game that is very important to us because with a win, it allows us to potentially secure a division title at home week 17, week 15, I'm sorry, against the Denver Broncos. The, so, you know, that Ford Field could potentially be ro rocking. Now, if, a, if we lose, then we would have to wait until the week after that. We still need a lot of things to happen. Uh, we'll talk about that maybe in a different video. But so it's very important to us to not only get to double digit wins, but to be one step closer to securing the NFC North for the very first time. But how important is it? To the Chicago Bears. Now you might be like, man, the Bears four and eight, but they don't got nothing to play for. The, which is that's not entirely true. So this video is kind of going to be like, okay, well, what Bears team are we going to get? Are we going to get the the team that maybe believes in tanking and wants to roll over and not play so tough because of what lies ahead, or are we going to get the team that is? possibly playing to make the playoffs because if you remember earlier this season Justin Fields said we want to be the 2022 Detroit Lions where you start off miserable and then you go on a run and almost make it to the playoffs and I mean well not quite as because oh not yet but you know um y'all not out of it just yet that would be the Carolina Panthers they are officially eliminated and the only team eliminated from playoff contention but are the what what kind of Chicago Bears team we gonna get? We gonna get the playoff push Bears, the spoiler Bears, or are we gonna get the roll over and die because the draft is right around the corner? Chicago Bears. Now let's take a look at the current draft order for the 2024 NFL Draft. I don't have the jingle on the soundboard. I need to put it back right now. That trade is not looking too good for the Carolina Panthers, but Bryce Young is still a rookie quarterback. He's got potential. The Chicago Bears right now are sitting at the number one pick because of that Carolina trade. This is probably secure, although the New England Patriots are kind of looking, uh, trying to get, they're going to run neck and neck, and you got the Arizona Cardinals as well, right? But then here you have the Chicago Bears with their own pick sitting at four and eight, a host of four and eight teams. This is absolutely miserable. And all these teams could be also f uh, four and nine by the time this weekend is over. But let's say, let's say if you're the Chicago Bears and you lose to the Detroit Lions, well, depending on what happened with Washington, maybe you go up to, you go from five to four. Maybe you go from five to four. Maybe you just don't win out and you uh, want a better draft pick. Now let's let's see who tank it down. We're gonna take it down right now. Who do they have? Caleb Williams. Well, well, well. This is who they they plan to take most likely with the first pick in the NFL draft. That means bye bye Justin Fields. So if that's who they're gonna secure with that first pick, then what about? Uh, their second pick. Well, right now, Marvin Harrison Jr. is looking to go maybe third. Now, this all could change. It's all hypothetical. We got plenty of time to talk about mock drafts. But right here uh, is where the Chicago Bears are sitting with their pick. A loss would maybe put them up to four. If they finish the season, there is quite possibly they could have the number one and number two spots. And if they do have the number one and number two spots, then that means that they're going to take Caleb Williams and they're going to take uh, Marvin Harrison Jr., and we will have to deal with both of those gentlemen for the foreseeable future, right? So my question is, what Chicago Bears team are we going to get? We're going to get the potential tank for Marvin, from Maserati Marv, or are we going to get the, the team that's trying to make a playoff push? Now, I'll let you decide what's happening. I'm saying that they're going to, you know, tanking is technically not something teams do, at least not in the NFL anyway. It happens all the time in the NBA, but you can ask the Detroit Pistons because they are terrible. Good Lord, I'm glad I don't watch them anymore. I have checked out of them since Chauncey Billups was part of the Detroit Lions. Now, let's, I'm sorry, Detroit Pistons. Let's look at the, where are they? Well, 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 they're ahead of uh, the teams that are ahead of them in the draft. So they're sitting at 13, and you're like, well, there's seven spots left. There's no way. There's no way they can make a push up there. We're sitting at four and eight. 
Well, I disagree with you because here is the remaining schedule for the Chicago Bears. They play the Detroit Lions. If they lose that game, their season is probably uh, a wrap at that point. The Cleveland Browns, the Arizona Cardinals, the Atlanta Falcons, it very well could come down to the Green Bay Packers that maybe, just maybe, would give them an opportunity at the playoffs. So if you are the Chicago Bears, you're looking at this, you're saying, hey, we need to beat Detroit to stay in this thing. We could be the Detroit Lions of 2022, and we can go, we can run the table, our fan base needs to relax, and we can end up 9-8 and eight with a potential to get in the playoffs, squeaking air, just like the Detroit Lions in 2022 almost did. So which Chicago Bear team do you think we're going to get? Put it in the comments below. Are we going to get Tank for Caleb and Marvin and Maserati Marv? Or are we going to get the 2022 wannabe Detroit Lions and they try to go on a push? Because I'll tell you what, not I'm kind of conflicted on this. I don't believe in tanking, and I think they're going to come out and play, okay? Or at least present, try to play. But you never know. Justin Fields like to run, he get hurt. If he come out, Tyson Bajan, eh, I don't know. I don't know what to, you know. But if you think about it, if you're the Chicago Bears, you passed on Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud last year. And I had to think that you had a, a reasoning for that because you were maybe looking toward the future and you wanted to not only see what Justin Fields could do one, one last ride, but you also was looking at the, the quarterback like that you probably was going to get, right? So if you're the Chicago Bears, you have a chance to get Marvin Harrison Jr. and uh, Caleb Williams and get some draft capital in the same draft, most likely, for Justin Fields, which one would you do? So, I mean, you know, this is the NFL, any given Sunday, and I'm not one. This is, you know, I don't believe in tanking. I think it's despicable. I hate it. I hate when people talk about it. But the reality is that some teams probably do it. And so how does that come back to your Detroit Lions? The Detroit Lions need to take care of business. They do. And Justin Fields always gives us a problem all the time, all the time. It, it seems like since this guy's been playing our team, both games last year had the potential. One went down to the wire, and the other one um, <laughs> went down to the wire. as Well, the other one he got knocked out of, but he was killing us. The, the, the game, what, he didn't get knocked out. They pulled him out. It was At that point, there was no reason to play him. He was His hip was injured, but he injured his hip running for 75 yards. So Justin Fields is a problem. Mobile running quarterbacks have always been a problem for the Detroit Lions as long as I can remember. And if you're the Chicago Bears, what do you do? So the Detroit Lions can't take these guys for granted. Dan Campbell has already said that this is a dangerous team. He is a dangerous threat. But if you're the Chicago Bears, which one are you trying to do? So you don't know what. Are, are you going to get their best game? Are they going to try to uh, – Make a playoff run, try to be nine and eight and squeak into the playoffs. Are they going to try to tank? Because the Carolina pick is solid. They definitely got their quarterback. But, 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 do you want to try to move up to get Marvin Harrison Jr.? And I'll just throw this out there as well. Uh, maybe Justin Fields would be something that would sweeten the pot if they don't get the number one and number two seed. Maybe they are bottom or top 10, five through nine or 10, and they use Justin Fields, throw him in there, you know, as some leverage. Say, hey, you want Justin Fields? We move up. But who could they? Let me look at Tankathon real quick and see right now. Hmm. The Washington Commanders, perhaps. The New England Patriots. I don't see that working out. But uh, you never know. You never know. So let me know in the comments below. Kind of an outside-the-box video uh, just something I thought I wanted to talk about. Kind of interesting. If you're the Chicago Bears, which one would you do? And if they're trying the tank way, then that helps our team because they might leave a little bit on the field. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. We hit 16.3 on a push to 17 by the end of the year. You can help me get there with the final push of 20,000 in the month of January. If YouTube wasn't hiding my live streams, I would already be there. But I appreciate you. And thanks to everyone who watches every single video all the way through. That's the best way you can support this channel. And to everyone else that all my English professors, my math teachers, everything, man, y'all don't miss anything. Y'all be listening. Y'all remember them people with the headphones on in the stadium because they want to watch and they, they can't hear us right, so they want to hear right. And y'all listen to everything, and I love you for that, man. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.